Hi, Hopesters. Joni Elliott here. I'm the church counselor. I'm going to be using this platform to um, start to bring you um, little bits of information that you may find helpful. Um, because of the, the survey that Pastor Heidi and, and uh, the church had done, um, this is one of the things that, that we've one of the ways that we figured that we could we could help out and kind of answer some of those uh, those needs that um, were put forward. So um, yeah, so today I'm uh, going to chat about uh, anxiety, and that is when we worry about the future uh, and are fearful for the future. Um, and in these COVID times, yeah, that's that's super understandable and. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just been a been a rough go. Um, Want to say that winter is just about done, so we can take that off our plate. Yay! Yeah, winter's never really been my fave, so um, you know. And it's actually been a pretty mild winter, you know. So I can be thankful in that. Um, took a picture back on January sixteenth of a of a rainbow, and it's just kind of a testament of of how mild our winter has been up until this last bit. So, but, and that, that relieves my anxiety, the thoughts of, of, uh, of winter being over soon. So, um, so I want to talk a little bit about, um, you know, if, if the anxiety is reaching the point where, uh, it's interfering with, with, uh, the things that you do daily, if it's interfering with that and, um, then it's a good time to maybe go to your doctor and because it could be something physiological or or seek out a mental health professional, um, you know, just to kind of get to the bottom of it. Also, it's good to have like a support system, you know, somebody that you can chat with about about the things that are on your heart, you know, that uh, just to hear that and, and get that feedback maybe from your, you know, your friend or family member, whoever that is. Um but for the grounding and in the moment stuff, um, one of the one of the e like the simplest things to do is to just stop for that moment and take some deep calming breaths. Um, you know, and that can be at the count of a slow four. You know, like in on a slow four, out on a slow four, and only do it about three or four times, and and it'll be helpful because number one, you're you're not thinking about the anxiety; you're actually focusing on on the breathing, and and so that allows that little bit of space to just kind of. <sighs> And uh, and another one, a little, another little grounding technique is uh, is uh, five, four, three, two, one, and that is uh, see five things. Uh, you can say it out loud if you want, or you can just you know like say it mentally in your head. Um, yeah, and so see five things, touch four things, hear three things, smell two things. And taste one thing. If you don't have anything to taste, you can just like imagine a taste. But again, that that just kind of refocuses and allows that that moment away, you know, of the, of that anxiety, and, and allows you to kind of settle that down. Um, another thing that's really good for for anxiety is is a good routine. You know, like that is um, good sleep. You know, um, regular meals. Uh, yeah, just just a really good routine, you know, and 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 good self care. That's important too, you know, where you intentionally do something for for you, you know. Um, it's like the the when you're on the airplane and they they're going through that that spiel, you know, and and they talk about the mask dropping down and they say put it on your face first. Good self care is that you're you're caring well for you, so you can care for others. So um, don't feel guilty about it. You know, um, it's just something that that you should be be doing. You know, regularly because you're worth it. You know, and and when you start to add worth to you, it kind of starts to draw up a little bit of that anxiety. So um, yeah, um, good book. You know. Uh, bubble bath, um, soft music, whatever that is, them things will, will help. As, you know, pick something for you, though, that's going to work for you because, you know, um, 
it's different for everybody. So I like, I like, um, humor, you know, like I like comedies and, you know, um, I like to laugh and, and that, because that lifts me, you know, and yeah. So anyhow, that's this for this week and, uh, we'll catch you next week. Uh, have a good one. Um, take good care. Bye.